Namaskaram. Today we will continue the problems related to non homogeneous ODE. These are the solutions of last homework. In previous session, we have seen that what is the non homogeneous linear ODE and what, what, what about the general solution? It's a sum of uh, two functions complementary function plus particular integral. And also we see what is the method of undetermined coefficients and these basic rules for selecting trial solution. Also we solve two problems related to these two rules. This is the table of trial solution corresponding to different arches. In this session we will consider problems related to these three cases. Okay, so let's start. Okay, consider the problem solve y double dash minus 4y equal to x square plus cos 2x. Okay, and uh, yes, as similar to previous problems, general solution y is equal to yh plus yp, and yh is the solution, general solution corresponding to homogeneous equation. And what is homogeneous equation? Here that is y double dash minus 4y equal to 0, and we know how to solve it using uh, first of all, we write the characteristic equation, then can write the solution anyway this is the solution of this uh, homogeneous equation that is c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x then next we have to write the uh, next we have to find the particular integral okay okay then how to choose our trial solution yp here our rhs r this is our r of x r of x is sum of two functions x square and cos 2x we know how to choose the trial solution corresponding to x square and trial solution corresponding to uh, cos 2x. Okay, so we are using a technique. So our particular integral yp, we take our particular integral yp as sum of two particular integrals that is yp1 and yp2. You got it. yp1 is the particular integral corresponding to this x square and yp2 is the particular integral corresponding to x square. Okay, finally we take the sum. So we can easily identify this yp1 and yp2 from our table. This is our table of trial solution. And so what is yp1? What is the trial solution corresponding to x square? And what is the trial solution corresponding to cos 2x? Yes, from this table, the trial solution corresponding to x square, that is from the second row. Okay, because it is x raised to n, then this is nth degree polynomial. So this is a x square, so we choose an second degree polynomial so this is our yp1 it is a second degree polynomial that is a0 plus a1x plus a2x square and uh, what about yp2 yp2 is the trial solution corresponding to the solution corresponding to cos 2x okay that is from our uh, third uh, row if it is k cos omega x then this is the trial solution so here what about k k is 1 and omega is 2 so the trial solution corresponding to this cos 2x is a cos 2x plus b sin 2x. Okay, next we have to solve. Okay, so so actually what is yp? yp equal to sum of these two. Either you can find the derivative yp dash and yp double dash, uh, then substituting on this equation, then you can find this a0, a1, a2, a and b. Or you can solve uh, two separate equations. Both are same. Two separate equations means we consider two equations like this y double dash minus 4y equal to x square and second one is y double dash minus 4y equal to cos 2x anyway both gives the same answer but i think this one is uh, computationally easy okay so we can find yp1 from this equation and yp2 from this equation okay let's see okay so Finding this a0, a1, and a2, we have to find the derivatives of yp1, that is yp1 dash and yp1 double dash, and substitute in this equation or first equation. Uh, this uh, first equation. Okay. Similarly, to find uh, the coefficients a and b, we have to find yp dash and yp double dash and substitute in this second equation. Okay. That's the idea. So, first of all, we are going to substitute. Uh, yp1 and its derivative on this equation. So this become 
okay so uh, this is uh, so what are first time first time is yp1 double dash yp1 double dash is 2a2 that is 2a2 minus 4 times y instead of y our yp1 this is our yp1 okay equal to x square then by comparing the similar terms that means uh, this is our constant term this is the coefficient of x this is coefficient of x square and equal to x square then next we are comparing the coefficients so we have three equations first one is 2 a2 minus 4 a naught equal to 0 because there is no constant term on the right hand side and similarly minus 4 a1 is also 0 there is no term containing x and the coefficient of x square is 1 so minus 4 a2 equal to 1 okay now we have three equations so from this second equation it is clear that a1 equal to 0 isn't it and from this equation what about a2 a2 equal to minus 1 by 4 okay next we substitute this a2 on this first equation so this implies 2 times minus 1 by 4 minus 4 a naught equal to 0 then this implies what this implies this is minus 1 by 2 and this implies 4 a naught equal to uh, minus 1 by 2 so this implies uh, a naught what is it a naught a naught is minus 1 by 8 okay so now we have uh, a naught a1 and a2 so now we are ready to write this yp1 so what is our yp1 so yp1 is equal to a naught that is minus 1 by 8 plus a1 x a1 is 0 so no term corresponding to x and what about a2 a2 is minus 1 by 4 so minus 1 by 4 x square so this is our yp1 next we have to find this yp2 using second equation okay by substituting the derivative of yp2 on this equation we get minus 4a cos 2x minus 4b sin 2x this is corresponding to yp2 double dash minus 4 times yp2 these are yp2 that is a cos 2x plus b sin 2x equal to cos 2x okay next we comparing the similar terms so that is minus 8a cos 2x minus 8b sin 2x equal to cos 2x next we comparing the coefficients so here the coefficient of cos 2x is 1 it is minus 8a on left side so minus 8a equal to 1 and similarly what about the coefficient of sin 2x on right hand side that is 0 and on the left hand side this is minus 8b okay from this equation it is clear that b equal to 0 and from this equation what about a, a is equal to minus 1 by 8 so now we are ready to write this yp2 so what is yp2 so yp2 is uh, minus 1 by 8 cos 2x because b is 0 so now we have yp1 and yp2 so now we are ready to write this our yp particular integral so our particular integral particular integral yp is equal to sum of these two particular integrals that means minus 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 x square minus 1 by 8 cos 2x cos 2x now we are ready to write the general solution because our general solution is uh, complementary function plus particular integral and this is our complementary function and this is our particular integral so this is the general solution of this problem okay next problem solve y double dash plus 4y dash plus 4y equal to raised to minus x into cos 2x and this is our general solution and this is the complementary function and next we have to choose the trial solution corresponding to this r of x it is clear that this r of x is in the fourth case and what about k here k is 1 and gamma is minus 1 and omega is also uh, 1 so okay, from this table our trial solution yp is equal to e raised to minus x into a cos x plus b sin x okay because here gamma is minus 1 and uh, omega is 1 next we have to find yp dash and yp double dash and substitute on this equation okay to find the unknowns a and b okay using product rule yp dash equal to like this that is the first function into derivative of this term um, into plus uh, derivative of a raised to minus x that is minus a raised to minus x into the second term okay similarly we can find the yp double dash by differentiating these whole term 
first of all we are going to differentiate this term this product first function as e raised to minus x and second function like this so we get this term and next one minus of derivative of this product actually this is same as our yp okay so its derivative is same as this one so that's why e raised to minus x into same terms okay anyway we by using two product rule, we get the yp double dash next we comparing the similar terms because in here uh, terms containing e raised to minus x into cos x here also e raised to minus x into cos x here also one term here also one term so next we are going to compare all such terms and here it is uh, one time is minus a e raised to minus x cos x and what about this one this is minus a e raised to, sorry this is minus a e raised to minus x cos x and what about this term this is there is a one more minus minus into minus plus a e raised to minus x cos x that means you can cancel these two okay and uh, the remaining time is here it is uh, minus b e raised to minus x cos x and uh, here also minus b e raised to minus x cos x okay so that become uh, combining these two this is minus 2b e raised to minus x cos x okay similarly next we are going to compare e raised to minus x sin x so this term is minus b e raised to minus x sin x and uh, what about this term uh, minus into minus plus so this is plus b e raised to minus x b sin x okay so we can cancel these two terms next we compare another uh, two more terms this is uh, a a e raised to minus x sin x and this also minus into minus plus a e raised to minus x uh, sin x so comparing these two we get plus 2a e raised to minus x sin x okay so this is our y double dash similarly we can rearrange uh, yp dash like this e raised to minus x into sin x is common in these two terms so remaining time is minus a minus b similarly plus b minus a into e raised to minus x cos x next we are going to substitute this yp 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 dash and yp double dash exactly yp double dash everything into this equation to find and not say and okay okay so this equation will come like this uh, this is our uh, y double dash and this is corresponding to this is our y double dash and this term is corresponding to 4y dash and this term is corresponding to 4y equal to e raised to minus x into cos x okay next we are going to equate uh, the similar terms uh, first of all we are going to equating the terms containing e raised to minus x into cos x so what is the coefficient of e raised to minus x into cos x on the left hand side that is uh, minus 2b and uh, from this term it is 4b minus 4a 4b minus 4a from this term it is plus 4a equal to from the right side this one okay this implies what we can cancel this 4a and this become uh, one second oh sorry this is actually not this is actually 4b not uh, minus 4b this is plus 4b okay so this become uh, 4b minus 2b that is 2b so 2b equal to 1 so this implies b equal to 1 by 2 okay Next, we are going to equating the terms containing e raised to minus x into sin x. So, what is the term? What is the coefficient of e raised to minus x into sin x in L, L left hand side? So, this the first term is 2a, and from this term it is minus 4a minus 4b. So, minus 4a minus 4b, and we have one more term this one, its coefficient is plus 4b. There is no term containing e raised to minus x into sin x on RHS, so its coefficient is 0. So, what happened? Cancel these two and this become minus 2a. Okay, minus 2a equal to 0 implies a equal to 0. So, this is our uh, particular integral. So, what is our particular integral? That become e raised to minus x into uh, a is 0, 
So we have only b. So 1 by 2 sin x. So 1 by 2 it is to minus x sin. This is our particular integral. So now we are ready to write our general solution. So what is our general solution? General solution is yh plus yp. So yh is c1 plus c2x in e raised to minus x plus 1 by 2 e raised to minus x sin x. So this is the general solution of this problem. Okay. These are the homework. Thank you.